ions travel through a galvanic cell where as you know the galvanic cell is a type of electrochemical cell a type of electrochemical cell where actually the function of the galvanic cell just convert the, the chemical energy into electrical energy and this is the basic cell of the battery I mean galvanic cell plus galvanic cell you're gonna form the battery also you have another name of galvanic cells called the voltaic cell what actually happened in the galvanic cell was to convert the chemical energy into electrical energy to produce a current basic cell consists of two electrodes the first one here is a copper Cu this is the first electrode, I mean by the electrode at the metal rod, which is called the cathode. And we have here the other, another metal, it's called zinc. I'm going to name it anode. The cathode dissolves on the galvanic cell with a positive charge, and the anode with a negative charge. Between the two electrodes, we have the something's called the salt bridge. It used to transfer the ions. This electrode is immersed in the liquid. It's called the electrolyte. So zinc is immersed in zinc sulfate. The solution used to conduct the current, and the copper is immersed in an electrolyte it's called the copper sulfate. What actually happened in the cathode? The cathode, you have a reduction process. Reduction, mean by reduction, gain of electrons. What actually happened in the anode? The opposite. We have an oxidation process, which means the loss of electrons. And the two electrodes here connected with a wire here with the, the bulb. So, how does it work? The anode is immersed in zinc sulfate. The cells start making oxidation process of the anode. So the zinc atom is going to oxidize. I mean, loss of electrons. So it's going to lose electron. So the zinc atom loses electron to form a zinc ion. It produces here electrons and these electrons when the zinc atoms lead is the, the zinc ions these ions it travel through this salt bridge to maintain the balance and the electrons pass through the bulb and make it light up when the electrons pass through the the wires touch here the copper electrode but the copper ions is going to gain these electrons to convert it into the copper atoms in a process reduction. But keep in mind here in oxidation, what actually happened? The zinc atom is turned into zinc ions. The oxidation number for the atom is zero and become positive two. So you keep in mind in oxidation process, the oxidation number increase. It was zero for the atoms. The oxidation number of any atom is zero and become positive two. So in oxidation, oxidation number increase. What actually happen in reduction? Reduction in the ions, positive 2, it become atom, 0. So from positive 2 to 0, the oxidation number decrease. I mean by oxidation number, the number of electrons lost or gained by the atoms is called an oxidation number. For example, if you have a sodium 11, so the first one equal by two, second one equal by eight, the third equal by one. So the sodium atom it has one electron in the last cell. If the sodium atom tends to lose these electrons, so it tend to turn it into sodium ions in a positive one. So that means the in a positive one, the atom loses one electron to be sodium ions, which is called cation. And the positive one this would represent the, the oxidation number.
And the opposite for the chloride, if you have chlorine, Cl17, the first one equal by 2, the second equal by 8, the third one equal by 7. So you need to reach the octet rule to let the atom stable. So the chlorine atom is going to gain one electron. So it's again one electron to be a to be stable, so it will be Cl negative. So the solution number here is a negative, which is called a anion or chloride ion.